Let's really look at the truth about how 401k exit operates. And an expert that we're going to bring in, guys, is uh, Deontay Ford. So when it comes to the way that you put money in a 401k, the idea is that you lower your tax liability. Now, when you're putting this money inside of a 401k, it's important to understand that your money is growing in a variable fashion. Variable means that your money is fully exposed to the market, so it has zero protection. You can grow 20%, but you can also experience a 20% loss on your entire portfolio balance. Another critical point is the fact that you're restricting money inside of an account until 59 and a half. There are early penalty withdrawals of 10%. Pre-tax dollars going into a variable environment where your money grows interrupted. It's completely at risk of loss with no protection. You have limited access to it and you can borrow from it if your employer allows you to, but you're going to pay interest on that money. By age 72, you're required to take out a minimum distribution based on the life expectancy factor which is calculated by taking your balance divided by whatever the life expectancy factor is at age 72. Now, if you don't follow this rule, you can take a 50% tax penalty hit on your entire balance. What else does it not offer? Life insurance. Mm. No death benefit is being distributed to the beneficiary of your 401k. So all that they're going to get is whatever the remaining balance was, if any. I guarantee you, this is my opinion, most 401k investors don't know any of that information. Did you know that if you do not, at 72, draw the qualified amount, you're taxed at 50%? Now you do. Long live the king.